This video is going to be a breakdown between this DJI Neo versus DJI Mini 3. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, yep. not today, oh. not today. Today I have these two drones with me, DJI Neo and DJI Mini 3. And I will talk about both of these drones in detail, which will help you to decide which one you should buy in 2024. DJI Neo is just released in 2024 about a month ago right now everywhere is the hype of this drone everybody is looking for this drone some countries they still don't have stock some of them they already have people are making videos on this drone it's a market killer right now and this DJI Mini 3 it was released in 2022 and this was the best drone of 2022 when this drone was released there was a Mini 3 Pro as well and Mini 3 was a budget drone of 2022 and it's very nice drone first of all we will talk about the price point this drone DJI has released on 199 price for the base package where you get only the drone and if you want to buy a flymo combo where you get the controller the RCN3 and three batteries so then the cost will be about 270 and this mini 3 was released in 2022 for 550 and this drone comes with a smart controller you don't need any phone you have the screen on the controller so you can just switch on everything and you can just ready you are ready to fly this was the first drone DJI released with the smart controller on good price before we had Mavic 2 Mavic 3 and if you want a smart controller with those drones you had to buy the RC or RC Pro those controllers are very expensive even they are more expensive than the drone itself but when the, when DJI released this controller they gave us the support to use this controller with Mavic 3 Air 2S all Mavic 3 series and this controller was also very popular in the market the next thing which I'll be talking about is the weight this drone DJI has made very portable is 137 grams only so it's easy to carry it can fit in your pocket easily very lightweight drone wherever you want to fly it you just take out from your pocket and launch it same time on the other hand the DJI mini 3 it weighs about 250 grams DJI mini series all of them starts from mini 1 up to mini 4 they are all under 250 grams so you don't need any license to fly them wherever you are however if you are on a restricted place obviously you have to uh, you have to be very careful but otherwise if you're flying it anywhere under 250 gram drone you don't need any license you can fly it anywhere and if you compare their size the neo looks smaller because of its compact design and mini 3 is a bit wider but because of weight there's a lot of differences this drone also when it's in the wind it does not do very good on the other hand mini 3 even in windy conditions it can do very nice the battery life on this DJI Neo is about 18 minutes but that is just a claim I was flying this drone I was actually I was having a range test on this drone and when this drone came back my recording was about 10 minutes and the drone battery was almost empty so you can expect about 10 to 12 minutes if there is no wind and you are flying it slowly then maybe you get 18 minutes otherwise I got max 12 minutes with this drone on the other hand DJI Mini 3 it claims 35 minutes but you can easily get about 30 minutes on this drone which is very nice when you are in the air and even if you have this drone with one battery you don't have flymo combo 30 minutes is more than enough next I will be talking about the range this DJI Neo I had the range test on this drone twice first of all first time I could not make the range test properly because of the wind because this drone is very light so if there is a slight wind this drone will start drifting and start giving you wind warnings obviously if you buy this drone new you don't want to lose it you have to bring it back and the second attempt I could do max 1.1 km which was good because this drone they did not make for range test or fly, uh, flying it far this drone they make it portable to easy to use so wherever you are you can make nice cinematic shots with this drone because it has uh, quick features six quick shot modes on the drone with when you uh, where you don't need any controller or any cell phone you can just switch on this drone and you can have nice cinematic shots with this drone and mini 3 
Mini 3, I had the range test with the Mini 3 also. I will put the link down in the in the description. This drone, I had the range test. I could do easily 5 km with this drone and even I was in urban area, not uh, open place. If you are at open place, maybe you can go, uh, do about 7 to 8 km easily with this drone. That is the best thing about this drone. The camera quality on this DJI Neo, it's 12 megapixel 4K camera which is good for a small tiny drone like this is very nice when you are at a place where you want to capture the moments quickly you can just record with this drone this drone it can do well 12 megapixel camera can give you very nice shots but if you want to record the professional videos then obviously this drone is not for you on the other hand this DJI Mini 3 it also has 4K HDR camera plus DJI first time introduced the portrait camera on a mini drone which came on Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro only and after that they introduced it on the Mini 4 Pro as well even the bigger models like DJI Air 3, Mavic 3 Pro they don't have that portrait camera so if you record your TikTok videos or YouTube shots then you need this portrait camera you can just record it on the portrait mode and you are good to upload quickly and on DJI Neo, if you want to crop the video and make it vertical, then you will lose the quality. It will be very grainy. You will not like it. So in that case, DJI Mini 3 camera is going to help you a lot. The next thing which I have to talk about is the stability. So this drone, because of its lightweight, it is good. But when you are flying it in a windy condition, you will regret it because this drone, it cannot handle the winds at all. Even if you are flying it only 30 meters altitude, you will start getting wind warnings and if you ignore them, then what will happen? You will see my video I uploaded yesterday. I was flying this drone in, uh, I was testing this drone in the windy conditions and the wind just blew my drone away and all of a sudden I was lucky this, uh, I was not high enough so my drone came back to the home. But otherwise if you are high 30-40 meters high, then if you get the wind problems, your drone can easily drift away. On the other hand, the Mini 3 it can do very well in the winds obviously if it's too windy it's not recommended to fly the drone but if you are flying and there's a slightly slight wind or level 4 level 5 wind also this drone can handle them easily the next comparison we will have about the noise which drone is more noisy let me switch on the propellers on this drone so here this drone is on standby it's just on i'm not taking off And this is Mini 3. Take off. To me, this drone looks more quieter, even if it's older, but this drone has the best technology. So overall, even in 2024, if you never had a drone, maybe you should go for this drone. But to me, this drone still looks more better choice because of its capabilities. Size doesn't matter only. This drone it's small, this drone is small portable, but this drone it has more capabilities. If you compare the camera, if you compare the stability in the wind, the distance this drone can go more for. So if you have a budget, if you can spend a little bit two, three hundred more, you can get a better drone. Because this drone also has all those features which DJI has introduced on this one. It has all those quick shot moves, the better camera, the portable design and it comes with this smart controller so if you spend 200 more then you can get this nice drone so this was my breakdown on both of these drones which will help you to decide which drone you should go for in 2024 if you do like the video please subscribe my channel until next time ciao ciao